Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin on your PS300T. So when you open up your machine, there's going to be a bobbin on there. Um, what I want to show you is how to put your bobbin onto your bobbin winder pin. So if you look at this, you're going to see on this bobbin winder, there's this metal wire right here. Well, that metal wire, uh, this bobbin is meant to set right there with this little divot on the inside of your bobbin. Do you see where the tip of my uh, cleaning brush is kind of catching it? So it doesn't matter if you put it on this way or if you put it on this way, but you're gonna go ahead and put it on here and you're gonna turn that bobbin until you have a click, you hear a click. And that is that little divot in the inside of your bobbin settling in over on this wire. Next thing you're gonna do is you have this handy dandy spool pen right here. And if you just push back on this part, you're gonna go ahead and put that in the proper position. I'm using this thing of thread, and when you put it on, you wanna put it on so the thread is feeding from the underside. That's gonna give you your best stitching. I'm gonna slide this on, and you're gonna select the right spool cap. Now, there's three different spool caps that came with your machine. You wanna use the smallest spool cap that's gonna be a little bigger than the end of your spool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here, just like that. We're gonna grab the thread. Your steps are gonna be right here on the top of your machine. So if you forget how to wind a bobbin, you don't have to get your manual out. You can just refer to these pictures. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it in here. Step one, we're gonna go under here. And this part right here, this is for bobbin winding only. You do not use that when you're threading your machine, but just for bobbin winding. I'm gonna go ahead and I call this thing like a little arm that's sticking up. You're gonna put your thread under that arm and then make a U-turn with your thread, okay? I'm gonna do that one more time. So you're gonna go under that arm and then make a U-turn. So go counterclockwise under your bobbin tension disc right there. You should feel tension here. If you don't feel tension, you're gonna get spongy, loopy bobbins. That tension helps create those beautiful bobbins that you want for your sewing. So we're gonna come over here. You wanna give yourself about 10 inches. This is a wonderful bobbin um, winder because you don't have to take your thread and put it up through the hole in your bobbin. You can just wrap. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap clockwise. One, if you, four or five times. And then your thread is gonna go right in here. You have a cutter right in here on the base of that bobbin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck it in here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna hold my thread and it's gonna cut it at the same time. You're just gonna put it in there and pull gently to the right. Now my last step here is step four. I'm gonna go ahead and push that bobbin over to the right and we're ready to wind a bobbin. I'm gonna go ahead and step on my foot control and let's just wind about half a bobbin. or maybe just like a quarter of a bobbin, but that should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there, and then I'm gonna show you how to drop your bobbin into your uh, into your bobbin, um, what do you call that? Case. <laughs> into your bobbin case.